So it's time for us to get back to the competition. And I'm um, super excited to introduce Vivid Machines. They're coming to us from Toronto, Canada. They were mentored by Scott Colby. Uh, presenting and answering the questions today will be Tess O'Mara. She'll be pitching. And then Jenny Lemieux will join uh, online, actually, um, to do the Q&A. Vivid, Vivid uh, X Machines uh, system, they capture the visible and chemical details of every plant across the entire crop, from bud to harvest, to manage growth and predict yield. Um, this provides a means for early diagnosis of pests, disease, and nutrient deficiencies. So it seems like a very uh, good, appropriate business for the Grow New York region here. So let's hear it for Vivid Machines. All right, come on out. Welcome aboard. Thank you. And you got your gizmo. Yep. The table's already up front. Hello, Grow New York. Woo! Hi, I'm Tess. I'm the Director of Partnerships and an Executive Member of Vivid Machines, and I am so thrilled to be here. Unfortunately, our CEO can't be here in person, so for now you get me, but she'll join us virtually for Q&A. We are a new ag tech startup from Canada, and our vision is to bring more fresh fruit to market to help solve the problem of food security. 30% of produce doesn't make it to the grocery store because it's blemished, the wrong color, size, or gets lost in the supply chain. On the other hand, more than half of American farmers have lost money every year since 2013. The world is changing, and it's becoming harder for growers to produce and market fruit profitably. Apple trees only have so much energy. So growers have to balance the number of fruit per tree and the fruit size. Too many apples on a tree produce small fruit, which sell for less, and too few apples on the tree produce larger fruit, which sell for more, but you get less bins per acre. So growers do something called thinning, where they manually count, measure, and remove blossoms and fruit to regulate growth. And if they do this crop load management well, they can almost double their profit while ensuring good return for the following year. But it is a difficult and labor intensive process to control. Then months before harvest, farmers guesstimate how much fruit they have and they send those numbers up to supply chain. Pack houses use those numbers to plan shipping, storage, logistics, and sales desks use it to, to plan contracts. And often, these estimates are wrong. For example, a pack house in Canada was told to expect three bins of plums. A few months later, they received 20. The pack house didn't have the storage nor the contracts to move these plums, so they were wasted. The fruit supply chain is tightly interconnected, yet it's outdated. It needs timely and accurate data. So we've developed the means to capture that data. Introducing Vividex Vision, designed and built by our team. It is an easy to use, portable, and inexpensive system. And our, our growers, they call it Wally, -E, but please don't tell Disney. And the best part is it has a passive attachment here, which attaches to any farm vehicle. So growers, they take Wally, -E, they attach it to their ATV, they drive up and down the orchard doing things like cutting the grass. Then using the latest in computer vision, we can detect bands of light into the near infrared, which is unseeable to the human eye, allowing us to capture physical and chemical properties, which we can't see. Then using machine learning, our algorithms predict the number of fruits and the size of each fruit in real time. So from the orchard on the app, the grower can see what's happening and direct labor to do good crop load management. Then when they get to their desks, they essentially have a digital twin of their orchard with precise geolocation and historical data of each and every tree. And growers, they use this to plan labor, to monitor their crop progress, and they share early yield predictions with the supply chain. And I stress the word predictions because we use machine learning and artificial intelligence to analyze early season scans 
to predict the number of fruit and the growth curve of the fruit into the future. And how do we know our predictions are accurate? Because we've been comparing these predictions to grower packout counts, and we are consistently accurate with a 90%. So growers, pack houses, supply chain, sales desks, everybody has the data they need to minimize costs, reduce waste, and maximize profits. This past year, we ran trials with growers, and this is some of their feedback. So Kurt, he is Canada's most respected and largest apple grower. And we approached him on a cold call. At the beginning, he was totally skeptical. But now he loves our system so much that he's invested in our company. Rod Farrow, he owns Lamont Fruit Farms here in Albion, New York. And he's well known for crop load management. So we used a lot of his input to improve our system. And Gerbe, he runs a very large grower pack house shipping company in Canada. And the early season data has really helped him through his whole operation. So he's just signed on as a full customer for next year. And this is a quote from a very well-known and respecting academic in the area. And he's been talking about the importance of crop load management for New York for the last few years. So he really supports our system as well. So today, we do crop load management and yield prediction for apple growers, pack houses, and sales desks. Growers that use our system, they make an extra $800 per acre in profit. And for context, the average apple grower will make about $3,000 per acre in profit. And our business model is that we lease our hardware for $5,000 a year, and then we charge $80 an acre for these two services. Next year, we're going to have models for dormant pruning, color, and early detection of pests and disease. And this will help apple growers grow more fancy grade apples, which sell for $3 a pound instead of $1.50. This will bring $3,000 in value to them. Then, we're going to replicate this in pears, grapes, kiwi fruits, and cherries. So apples is our beachhead market. If we can sell to the top 10% of apple growers in accessible markets, that's a billion dollar opportunity for us. And the opportunity only scales as we move into other fruit. And we have a dedicated and passionate team who is so motivated about bringing you know, solutions to food security. Jenny, our CEO, she grew up on a farm. She's an engineer. She became an industrial designer and a very successful product executive. Jonathan, our CTO, he grew up working in his parents' organic fruit market. He got his PhD in physics, and he was a research fellow at Mila, which is Canada's most prestigious AI institute. There are very few founders with this combination of skills. And the rest of our team, they're experts in machine learning, computer vision, data science, agriculture, business operations, and corporate law. And I'd be remiss to say that we're advised by some of the best in Canada and here in New York State. This past year, we ran eight trials on farm, four in the New York region, covering 3,000 acres of apples. We did 50,000 demos, and most, which most of them will translate into customers for 2023. And we're doing research with Cornell Agritech on early detection of disease in grapes, which our system can see before the human eye. Last week, we had a system in New Zealand, and it was successfully capturing kiwi fruit data on the first day. And, and the agronomists in New Zealand, they approached us because kiwi fruit is a $2.7 billion export crop for them. And we're raising money. So we're Canadian, but we're already here in the region. We have customers, we have staff, research agreements, advisors. And the reason we're in New York is not because it's three hours from Toronto, but because you're the second largest apple growing state in the country, and you have 35,000 acres of grapes. So growers that use our system, they make more money, they require less unskilled migrant workers, and it'll spur new jobs in areas such as on-farm data analytics. So, if you invest 250000 
We will on grow, onboard four new growers in the region, increasing their profits by 1.4 million. If you invest 500,000, we will onboard six new growers, increasing their profits by 3 million. But here's the real story. If you invest $500,000 into our company, we will accelerate our data collection and product development into grapes. And this is huge because downy and powdery mildew is the most devastating grape disease in New York State today. So if you invest a million, we will commercialize that model faster because we will hire two researchers and a machine learning engineer here in the region dedicated to fast-tracking that algorithm. So be beyond the two, four, or eight direct jobs that we can bring, plus job multiplier effect through the supply chain, the real story is the massive impact that we can have to your billion-dollar apple and $6.65 billion wine and grape industry here. So we're ready to scale. This is our timeline and our milestones to grow next year. So, grow New York. We need your investment so that we can accelerate our growth and tackle the biggest problems facing your fruit industry today. Thank you.